Ben's fear of success has left many of them confused about their wants and needs. The creators of Police Squad, Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker, wanted actors who could handle the show's unique blend of comedy and action. Leslie Nielsen, known for his serious roles, was cast as the lead, Frank Driven. The creators were looking to subvert audience expectations, and Nielsen's deadpan delivery was perfect for the part. Alan North was cast as Captain Ed Hawken after a successful chemistry test with Nielsen. The two actors had a natural rapport, which was crucial for the show's comedic timing. Peter Lupus, known for his physicality, was cast as Officer Norberg. His muscular build and comedic timing made him an ideal fit for the role. The casting of the recurring character, Ted Olson, was also significant. The creators wanted an actor who could portray a different occupation in each episode. William Duell, with his diverse acting background, was chosen for the part. Overall, the casting process for Police Squad focused on finding actors who could balance comedy and action and who had a natural chemistry with each other. How many fingers the 1982 TV series Police Squad was directed by Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker, collectively known as Zess. They brought a unique comedic vision to life through their innovative approach to parodying the police genre. The directors drew inspiration from classic TV shows like Dragnet and Hawaii Five-O while adding their signature humor style characterized by sight gags, absurd situations, and rapid fire jokes. The Zazz team's creative influences also included the work of silent film comedians like Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin, as well as the fast-paced humor of Mel Brooks films. This is evident in the show's visual and comedic style, with exaggerated performances, intricate sight gags, and a focus on physical comedy. In bringing the story to life, the directors collaborated closely with the cast and crew, fostering a creative and supportive environment. They encouraged improvisation and experimentation, allowing the actors to fully embrace their characters and contribute to the humor. This collaborative process resulted in a dynamic and engaging on-screen product with the cast's performances perfectly complementing the show's offbeat humor and visual style. The director's approach to Police Squad was defined by their commitment to pushing the boundaries of comedy and their ability to find humor in the most unexpected places. Through their vision and collaboration with the cast and crew, they created a groundbreaking TV series that continues to resonate with audiences today. Of course, Lieutenant uh, Flevner. Uh, Drevin. Uh, Police Squad is a classic TV series that first aired in 1982. It's a comedy show that parodies the police genre with hilarious results. You might have a cherished memory associated with this show or a particular scene that has stuck with you. Maybe you love the deadpan humor or the over-the-top action. Throughout this video, we'll be sharing some fun, shocking, and even sad facts about Police Squad that you might not know. So, keep watching to learn more. Do you have a favorite moment from Police Squad that you'd like to share? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the show, there's something in this video for everyone. From the show's origins to its impact on popular culture, we'll be exploring it all. So, sit back, relax, and get ready to learn something new about this classic TV series. Police Squad. The production of the 1982 TV series Police Squad was a unique endeavor with a focus on creating a comedic and engaging experience for viewers. The set design was meticulously crafted to resemble a realistic police station with attention given to even the smallest of details, such as the placement of files and office equipment. The show was primarily filmed on sound stages, allowing the production team to have complete control over the environment and ensure consistency across scenes. However, they also utilize exterior locations to add variety and authenticity to the settings. For instance, car chases and outdoor investigations were often shot on location. One of the logistical challenges faced during filming was the need to coordinate a large number of cast and crew members. With a comedy series like Police Squad, the production process required careful timing and precise execution to ensure that the humor landed effectively. To facilitate this, 
The production team employed innovative techniques such as video assist, which allowed them to review footage immediately after filming. This enabled the team to identify areas for improvement and make necessary adjustments on the spot. Additionally, they used a multi-camera setup to capture various angles simultaneously, streamlining the editing process and ensuring a cohesive final product. Despite the challenges, the production of Police Squad was a testament to the team's dedication and expertise in their craft. Their innovative approaches to filming and commitment to creating a high-quality product resulted in a memorable and entertaining series. One on the right was found near his body. So whoever belongs to that whisker is our killer. Police Squad, the 1982 television series, is often compared to the Naked Gun movies, but it offers a unique and superior comedic experience. The show boasts a quick wit and humor that wouldn't be possible in a weekly series today due to the numerous political correctness concerns. The series features Leslie Nielsen, who is known for his deadpan delivery, which made even the corniest jokes hilarious. One of the show's running gags is that the guest stars, who were often big names like William Shatner, would be killed or forgotten immediately. The humor is dark, bizarre, and unapologetic, which makes it stand out from other comedy shows. The sight gags and visual humor are also exceptional, and viewers often discover new details with each rewatch. The show's humor is fast-paced and relentless, with the police officers destroying an entire car before checking the glove box for evidence. The characters' names are reminiscent of Austin Powers or James Bond, with a touch of stupid innuendo that adds to the humor. For example, the character Peter Lupus, who plays a detective, says he will tap the phones and installs a beer tap instead. He then describes to grieving parents that their daughter is probably already mutilated or dead. The humor is often inappropriate, but it's executed in such a ridiculous and over-the-top way that it's hard not to laugh. Despite its brilliance, Police Squad only aired for six episodes. Fans of the show were disappointed when there were no more episodes to watch. However, the Naked Gun movies were later released, which were based on the show. Although the movies are entertaining, they don't compare to the original series' humor and creativity. In conclusion, Police Squad is a hidden gem in the world of television comedy. Its humor is dark, bizarre, and relentless, with visual gags and deadpan delivery that make it a standout show. While it's unfortunate that the series was canceled after only six episodes, its impact on comedy and influence on future shows is undeniable. Born imports and two martini lunches with the order of the day. His clientele with the sons and daughters. The creation of a television show score and soundtrack is a crucial aspect of storytelling as it enhances the narrative and emotional tone of the series. In the case of the 1982 TV series Police Squad, the music played a significant role in complementing the show's comedic and fast-paced tone. Composed by Era Newborn, the Police Squad score featured a mixture of big band swing and orchestral music, which perfectly captured the spirit of the 1950s and 1960s detective shows that the series parodied. Newborn, who was known for his work on films like the Naked Gun series and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, brought his expertise in creating humorous and memorable music to the table. The soundtrack for Police Squad was composed with the intention of enhancing the comedic timing of the show with quick and snappy musical cues that punctuated the jokes and visual gags. Additionally, the music was used to create a sense of tension and drama during the show's action sequences, adding an extra layer of humor to the already absurd situations. According to Newborn, the score was designed to be playful and energetic, reflecting the show's quick wit and slapstick humor. He used a variety of instruments, including brass, woodwinds, and percussion, to create a lively and upbeat sound. The use of big band swing rhythms and horn sections was a nod to the classic detective shows of the past, adding an element of nostalgia to the mix. The musicians involved in the creation of the police squad score and soundtrack were highly skilled professionals, many of whom had worked with Newborn on other projects. They brought their own unique talents and perspectives to the table, helping to shape the sound and feel of the show's music. In conclusion, the creation of the Police Squad. Score and soundtrack was a collaborative effort between composer era Newborn and a team of talented musicians. By using a mixture of big band swing and orchestral music, they were able to complement the show's comedic 
and fast-paced tone, enhancing the narrative and emotional impact of the series. Police Squad from 1982 only had six episodes produced, but it eventually gained cult viewing status. Its snitch, Johnny the Shoeshine Boy, met with real-life figures like Dick Clark, Joyce Brothers, and Tommy Lasorda in the last three episodes. After the success of the Naked Gun films, Comedy Central, and CBS re-aired the series in 1991, planning to include a cut scene with John Belushi. However, the footage was lost or destroyed and couldn't be found. Initially, it was difficult to sell the show due to the limited number of episodes, but foreign broadcasters started to show interest, especially after the Naked Gun film's success. In the UK, some ITV regional broadcasters aired the show in the late 1980s, usually around 11 p.m. Despite its initial struggles, Police Squad left a lasting impact and gained a dedicated fan base over time. One of the most memorable scenes from the show is in the pilot episode, where Detective Frank Drebin is trying to question a suspect in a murder case. The suspect is a mute, deaf-mute boxer, and Drebin struggles to communicate with him. The scene is played for laughs, with Drebin using exaggerated gestures and props to try to convey his questions. The scene is a great example of the show's humor, which often relies on visual gags and physical comedy. Another iconic scene is in the second episode, where Drebin and his partner are trying to catch a crook who is stealing valuable artifacts from a museum. The crook is disguised as a dummy in a museum display, and Drebin and his partner don't notice him until it's too late. The scene is shot in a single take, with the camera following Drebin and his partner as they move through the museum. The use of long takes and subtle camera movements adds to the comedic timing of the scene. The show's director, Jerry Zucker, spoke about the show's unique approach to comedy in an interview we wanted to do something different with the format we wanted to play with the conventions of the police procedural genre and subvert them for comedic effect the show's stars also contributed to its success leslie nielsen who played detective frank trevin was known for his deadpan delivery and ability to play straight man to the show's absurd humor in an interview, Nielsen said, I always approached the material with a seriousness, even when the situations were ridiculous. That was the key to the humor. The show's impact can still be felt today, with many modern comedies owing a debt to its irreverent humor and visual gags. The show's influence can be seen in shows like the Naked Gun film series, Arrested Development, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Overall, Police Squad is a classic example of a comedy show that pushed boundaries and paved the way for future shows to experiment with form and humor. Its iconic scenes are still remembered and celebrated today for... 415? Yes. The body was found 415 feet from the car. In the sixth episode of Police Squad, titled Testimony of Evil, John Belushi was originally set to make a cameo appearance, but he died before the episode aired. His scene, which showed him with cement shoes at the bottom of a body of water, was ultimately reshot with William Conrad. The set of the police squad room featured a translucent glass door with the word police spelled backwards from right to left, while squad was spelled from left to right, creating a visual inconsistency that was present regardless of the direction from which one approached the door. Now, a detective who was so tall that his head was never shown on camera was portrayed by Tiny Ron, an actor known for his imposing physique and tough guy roles in numerous films. Standing at seven feet tall, Tiny Ron was nearly a foot taller than Leslie Nielsen, who played the lead role in Police Squad. Hey, go ahead. And you know, Ed, what all this goes to show is that the only real dope is the one who sells it or buys it. Police Squad, a 1982 TV series, made a significant cultural and social impact through its unique comedic style and innovative approach to the police genre. The show gained a loyal following for its use of humor, parodying the conventions of police dramas. Its impact was evident in the way it resonated with audiences, influenced pop culture, and contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. Police Squad as irreverent humor and unconventional storytelling set it apart from other shows of its time. The series employed a rapid-fire comedic style, with jokes and visual gags appearing at a breakneck pace. 
This approach offered viewers a fresh and entertaining alternative to more traditional police dramas and contributed to the show's enduring appeal. The series' influence on pop culture has been substantial, inspiring a new wave of comedy and parody in television and film. Police Squad is signature humor and visual style can be seen echoed in later productions, including the popular Naked Gun film series, which was based on the TV show. Moreover, Police Squad sparked conversations about social and cultural themes. Although the show did not explicitly tackle these issues, its diverse cast and willingness to challenge the status quo made it a relevant and progressive force in television. By subverting the conventions of the police genre, and embracing a more inclusive representation of characters, the series contributed to broader discussions around diversity and representation in media. In summary, Police Squad left a lasting impact on both the cultural and social landscape by challenging traditional storytelling norms and offering a fresh, humorous take on the police genre. Its influence on pop culture and contribution to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes has solidified its place as a significant and influential series in television history. You're barking up the wrong tree with us, Ralph, twice. He's a good fan. The TV series Police Squad. From 1982 faced an untimely cancellation after six episodes, with the ABC Entertainment president citing viewers' inability to appreciate it as the reason. However, the producers were relieved as they were running out of story material and had lost confidence in continuing. The show's concept was later revived as a successful theatrical film series with less demanding production schedules. In the first four episodes, a recurring gag involved Detective Frank Drebin running over a set of objects equal to the episode number. This joke was absent in the fifth and sixth episodes. Each episode featured a special guest star who met an untimely end in the opening credits, including Lorne Green and William Conrad being knifed and thrown out of cars, Lawrence Henderson being shot during a musical number, and William Shatner narrowly avoiding machine gunfire before drinking poison wine. Have a seat, Mr. DeWonder. Thank you. Police Squad, a TV series that aired in 1982, received mixed reviews from critics and audiences. The show, created by Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker, is a parody of police dramas and features Leslie Nielsen as the main character, Detective Frank Drebin. Some critics praised the show for its humor and originality. In a review for the New York Times, John J. O'Connor described the series as fast, curious, and very, very funny. He commended the creators for their deliciously tasteless humor and Nielsen's deadpan performance. However, other reviewers were less enthusiastic. In a review for the Washington Post, Tom Shales criticized the show for its hectic, haphazard pacing and lack of character development. He also felt that the humor was too broad and too dumb to be truly funny. Despite the mixed reviews, Police Squad did receive some accolades. The series was nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards Outstanding Writing in a Variety or Music Program and Outstanding Film Sound Editing for a series. While it did not win in either category, the nominations were a testament to the creativity and technical skill of the show's creators. The nominations also helped to boost the profiles of the people involved in the show. Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker went on to have successful careers in film and television while Leslie Nielsen became a household name thanks to his role in the series and its subsequent film adaptations. Overall, while Police Squad may not have been a critical darling, it did leave a lasting impact on the world of comedy and television. Its innovative approach to parody and slapstick humor helped to pave the way for future shows and films, and its talented cast and crew continued to be celebrated for their contributions to the entertainment industry. in the original VHS release of Police Squad. From 1982, certain songs were altered due to copyright issues. For instance, Happy Birthday was replaced with a different version, and Glowworm was dubbed in the final episode's DVD version. The series shares a unique characteristic with Perry Mason and Honey West, as Dick Clark made appearances in their final episodes, just like he did in Police Squad as last episode. 
Interestingly, none of the special guest stars featured in the opening sequence appeared in any episode since they were killed during it. However, Robert Goulet, who was a special guest star, did appear in The Naked Gun to The Smell of Fear, one of the movies derived from the series. during the filming of Police Squad. The cast and crew faced many challenges due to the show's unique comedic style and rapid fire humor. The show was a parody of 1960s police dramas and the writers aimed to pack as many jokes as possible into each episode. One of the most memorable anecdotes from the set involved the show's use of visual gags. In one episode, the writers wanted to include a joke where a suspect's false beard falls off during an interrogation. To achieve this effect, the prop department created several different beards made of various materials, such as rubber and yak hair. However, none of them looked convincing on camera. In the end, they decided to use a real beard, which they glued to the actor's face. Unfortunately, the glue was too strong, and when it came time to remove the beard, the actor was left with a painful burn on his face. Despite the mishap, the scene made it into the final cut, and the joke received a big laugh from the studio audience. Another anecdote from the set involved the show star. Leslie Nielsenator Nielsen was known for his deadpan delivery and comedic timing, but he had never appeared in a comedy series before Police Squad. In fact, before being cast in the show, he had built a reputation as a serious dramatic actor. Despite his lack of comedic experience, Nielsen quickly proved himself to be a natural. He often improvised lines and physical comedy bits, much to the delight of the cast and crew. In one scene, Nielsen's character is seen driving a car while eating a sandwich. Nielsen insisted on actually holding the sandwich and taking bites during each take, even though it made the scene more difficult to film. The end result was a hilarious sequence that became one of the show's most memorable moments. Overall, the making of Police Squad was marked by creativity, innovation, and a willingness to take risks. The cast and crew's dedication to their craft and their ability to work together as a team helped to create a show that has stood the test of time and continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. In the 1982 TV series Police Squad, only three cast members appeared in all six episodes, and the subsequent Naked Gun film franchise Leslie Nielsen, Ed Williams, and Tiny Ron. Initially, Robert Stack was considered for the role of Frank Drebin, but he declined, leading to Leslie Nielsen's casting. Nielsen's father, Ingvard Nielsen, had a career as a Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer in the Northwest Territory in Saskatchewan, which may have influenced his son's portrayal of a police officer in the series. Hey Kelly, sure are a lot of photographers here tonight. Police Squad, a 1982 TV series, holds a significant place in film history due to its unique blend of comedy and police procedural genres. The show's creators, the Zucker Brothers and Jim Abrahams, are known for their fast-paced comedic style, previously demonstrated in movies like Airplane. Police Squad's most notable innovation was its use of sight gags, wordplay, and deadpan humor, which were uncommon in police dramas at the time. The series featured actors like Leslie Nielsen, who later became famous for his comedic roles. Despite its short run of only six episodes, Police Squad left a lasting impact on future filmmaking. The influence of Police Squad can be seen in various comedy and action productions, such as the Naked Gun film series, which was based on the TV show. The show's rapid-fire humor and subversion of traditional police drama tropes have inspired numerous parodies and homages in subsequent television shows and movies. Moreover, Police Squad demonstrated the potential of blending comedy with other genres, paving the way for similar genre-bending productions. The series has also influenced comedy writers and filmmakers who appreciate its groundbreaking humor and innovative storytelling techniques. In summary, Police Squad has made a lasting contribution to film history through its unique approach to comedy and police procedurals. Its influence on future filmmaking is evident in the many parodies and homages it has inspired, as well as in the genre blending productions it helped pioneer.
When the TV series Police Squad first aired, it only had six episodes. The following summer, ABC rerun these episodes but edited out a joke from the opening credits. This joke involved Rex Hamilton as Abraham Lincoln getting shot and then pulling out a pistol to shoot back. If the second season had been commissioned, this gag would have been replaced with a similar one featuring Mohandas K. Gandhi and a machine gun. In the second episode, titled Ring of Fear, George Stanford Brown appeared as the guest star who was quickly killed during the opening credits. Interestingly, Brown later directed the third episode. The butler did it. Overall, the creators of Police Squad seem to have a knack for incorporating humor into their opening credits and using unexpected twists to keep viewers engaged. Sit down, both of you. Uh, Jerry? We got away with this. Why don't you give me that gun and we'll forget about it. The television series Police Squad from 1982 was known for its fast-paced, joke-packed episodes. However, it was canceled after only six episodes, a decision that The Simpsons creator Matt Groening, a fan of the show, understood. According to Groening, the average viewer in 1982 was not yet ready for the rapid-fire humor of Police Squad. The show's visual gags and quick jokes would have been easier to appreciate in the age of widespread VCR ownership and internet access, which came later. One notable feature of Police Squad was its unique take on the freeze frame. At the end of each episode, the characters would stand as still as possible in a mock freeze frame, creating a humorous tableau. For instance, in one episode, a character poured coffee that overflowed as they remained frozen. Many of the gags from Police Squad were later reused in the Naked Gun film franchise, demonstrating the enduring appeal of the show's humor. Overall, Police Squad was a groundbreaking series that was simply ahead of its time. Of course, she wants to meet you. Have a seat, Mr. DeWine. Peter Lupus was replaced by O.J. Simpson in the Naked Gun film series, and Alan North was replaced by George Kennedy. In Police Squad, Drebin's rank was frequently misstated, adding to the show's subtle humor. The theme song, opening credits, and character of Lieutenant Frank Drebin were all spoofs of the 1950s TV show Home Squad, which starred Lee Marvin as Lieutenant Frank Ballinger. But I knew I needed more answers. And I had an idea where I could get some. In the short-lived television series, Police Squad, several interesting details can be found. Starting from the second episode, Detective Frank Drebin recites a list of arrested criminals from all previous episodes, with the exception of the first and third episodes. However, due to the episodes airing out of order, the intended continuity of this joke was disrupted. Paramount Television, the production company behind Police Squad, owned the rights to the library of Quinn Martin, which was parodied extensively throughout the show. Each episode of Police Squad features two titles, one narrated at the beginning and another displayed on screen. Notably, the voiceover narration never matches the on-screen title. Despite its cancellation after only six episodes, the series has garnered a cult following and is still remembered for its unique humor and style. Yeah, maybe Blue is alibi. Now, why do you know the two of you talk to the police and he's mad? If Police Squad from 1982 left an impression on you, We'd love to hear your stories, share your favorite memories, and how this classic TV series influenced your view of cinema. Your experiences could inspire others to explore its impact too. Don't forget to engage with our post, give it a like, share it, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Help us create a dynamic community where we can all share our love for classic television. What occupies this time? Maybe just